Okay. <laughs> Come in and pick your over here. You guys move in closer, please. <coughs> okay, great. Hi, and welcome back to VidMag. We're standing here today with two people from Armored Saint, the band that's playing down here in the flats tonight. Um, you want to introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure, my name is uh, Gonzo, and I play the drums in the band, and we're just having a great time out here in Cleveland. And I'm Joey Vera, the bass player, and I agree with him. We're having a great time right next to the beach club here, and it's a wonderful sight today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... You want to tell us how the band got together and, um, you know, a little bit of history about yourself? Sure. Um, our group originated out of, like, friendship through in high school and, and before that, and it started in 1981. And um, we started playing the clubs around L.A., and pretty soon we got pretty popular, and our following kept growing and growing. Then we attracted a major label... Uh, consideration and that was a, around the time when um, uh, all the major acts that are happening now were getting signed being picked up and we were lucky enough to uh, be one of them okay what about the uh, the first record that came out um, we have two records out on Chrysalis Records the first one is called March of the Saint and that was released in November of 1984 and we just have we're on touring for a new record now, which is Delirious Nomad, which came out in November of 85. Okay, how is the, um, how's the tour going for you? It's going great. We're just rolling with the punches, uh, playing some really, really big places. <laughs> <laughs> There's one of them across the street there, yeah. <laughs> okay, now this is, the, this is the third time that you've played Cleveland. Okay, once you played the, uh, the Coliseum opening up for a major show, and the next time you played the Variety Theater with Metallica, um, and... Now, now, where are we now? We're at Mr. P Peabody. Peabody. <laughs> Down and under. <laughs> and how does, how does, um, out of the two shows, um, how did the, how did the crowd stack up, um, you know, how did they respond, basically? Well, pretty much all across the country. Whoa! All across the country, um... <laughs> yeah. Really. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, all across the country, the fans have been really, really uh, responsive to us. And um, we figure as long as we're touring and, uh, you know, getting it to the people, that's what really counts. Okay, do you have any kind of, um, like, a message or anything that you're trying to get out in your songs, or is it just songs? How do you write your the lyrics that you guys do? Well, we write about a lot of situations that either people go through or people are actually going through in the world and maybe just personally a variety of things really okay and how would you um describe the kind of music that you do i mean if you wanted to put a label on it would you call yourselves a metal band or just well, a hard rock band that's or? food music <laughs> that's food music <laughs> it's full of aggression and full of like rebellious connotations and hopefully it's what the kids want and what the parents don't <laughs> <laughs> how is um how is the music today um you know like the new metal bands coming up how do you um figure or why do you figure that there's been this sudden rash of new metal bands coming out all of a sudden well it's been going on for a few years now since really 1980 1979 so it's not really all of a sudden well i mean i mean more or less just like suddenly coming into the limelight and all these big metal bands I, suddenly shooting up there where i pretty much think that it's kind of a time for uh the new generation to take place and um all the new acts that are becoming big na now are the new generation and some of the older acts and more um established are still trying to compete, so it just makes it that much more uh, competitive and fun. Okay, how does the, how does the West Coast scene compare with like the East Coast scene? Say, I mean, it's warmer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, musically, I mean, well, I guess that's kind of that's hotter too, probably. But. Well, in LA, there's as as far as like the local scene goes, it's there's a lot of a lot more clubs it seems like than there are out here that that are all ages and that there's like a a regular regular shows going on like weekly you know mm -hmm. but out here it seems more like you have to play like top 40 stuff and it seems a lot harder 
out yeah, here. Yeah, out, out in the West Coast, there's a, like, a rock band every block, you know? Yeah. So it, it's um, <clears throat> pretty hard to get into the club circuit because there's so, so many bands trying to uh, do it, especially after what happened with, um, you know, like Rat, Motley Crue, Quiet Riot, and Armored Saint, everyone getting picked up. So that a lot of them are following in, in those footsteps. Mm -hmm. What about like the the thrash scene? How does that compare from west to east? Uh, it's, it's pretty much the same everywhere. It's there's a lot of it in LA and there's a lot of it over here as well. It's it's all over really. Do you find you have a lot of thrashers coming out to your shows? Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of thrashers. Coming out a lot of stage diving and things like that. Yeah. We did this one show at a carnival right before uh, coming off tour with Saxon. Um, and it was crazy. I mean, slam pits and everything, you know, going. Very interesting. <laughs> How do you feel about that kind of thing? I know there's a lot of bands that aren't crazy about the idea of people jumping up on stage and then going flying off of it. <laughs> well, I think it's all right as long as it doesn't get too out of hand because it, it can get out of hand and it starts to take away from the band. It's like the next thing you know, the band is just background music and then there's some kind of a like a circus act going on and no one's really watching or even caring about the band they're just looking at the people slamming and jumping off you know so it could take away from it if it gets out of hand okay and um well lastly um what do you see in the future for armored saint well we'll be doing another record um as soon as this tour is over and hopefully which will be when uh in june and then we'll record it and hopefully be out either in Europe or back in the States. Um, and Metallica looks possible in Europe. So, and, you know, we're looking forward to that and I hope it comes true because we want to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about what about video stuff? Anything in the works? No, nothing Nothing for this record. Uh, we chose not to do one. To We just wanted to save money and use it in other areas such as touring and a bit more in advertising. But uh, maybe next record, who knows, we might do a video. Yeah, maybe a concept sort of thing, a live video um, yeah. thing. So it could be out in the video market. <laughs> <laughs> like this one. That's us, yes, 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 absolutely. Okay, well, I want to thank you very much. Thank and you. Hopefully right. you'll have a great show tonight. I'm sure that you will. All right. Yeah. And, uh, well, we look forward to... Uh, enjoy Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> See ya.